What is going on everybody? David here and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time we are going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Primal Attack Savage Strike Sword Belter. Very excited to finally add this to the collection as I've been uh, looking for this for a while. Um, I did find this at one of my, uh, or not my, but one of the uh, Kroger marketplaces in the area where I'm at and um, if you're looking for it uh, if you need this to add to your collection, check there. Uh, check your regular Kroger's, check your Kroger marketplaces. Uh, they should have uh, plenty of them because when I went, they did. So, very happy to finally scoop this up and add it to the collection. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Then we'll crack this dinosaur out of its packaging. And then we will take a look at it, do some comparisons, and probably do a collection update. Alright, so. <clears throat> This is your basic uh, Primal Attack packaging. Really love the uh, card back. And it's probably mine and pretty much almost everybody that collects Jurassic Park or Jurassic World figures. Uh, we really do love this uh, card back. You know, with the paddock fencing, with the sunset, with the uh, trees and grass, especially with the, uh, the yellowish orange, um, reddish uh, color because you know just reminisces the colors in the background this is just a reminisce of the old kenner uh, uh jp packaging <clears throat> so anyways so we have the uh jurassic world logo on the top uh left hand corner we got the three stripes right here we got the uh um, sword pelta in action down here we got savage strike sword pelta and then we got owen and blue staring off in the blue <laughs> I know, bad pun. But anyways, um, then we got the dinosaur in the middle of the card back. And then we had the arrows going up and down, indicating the action feature. And then we have the Jurassic World logo right there. Jurassic World logo right there. And then at the bottom, here is the UPC if you're interested in trying to locate this. And then it says contains one dinosaur. You get all these copyright information. With the Universal Amblin Entertainment logo, along with the Mattel logo right there. And then on the back, on the top, you got the uh, the fax app information. And then you have the Jurassic World logo right there. And then in the middle, you got Savage Strike. And then you got Soar Pelta. And then you have a uh, promotional uh, promo art of uh, Soar Pelta in action. And it says uh, Spike Strike. And then down here you have uh, all what's in the other uh, it's advertised for it's in the Savage Strike. So you get a repack of uh, Blue, and then the repack of uh, the Tapujara, and then you got Velociraptor Charlie right there. So let's take a few seconds to uh, crack this uh, sword pelt out of its packaging, and then we will take a closer look at it. All right, so we got the sword pelt in hand. So I really do like this. Um, the only thing that I have an issue with that I think they probably could have done, which is probably understandable why they didn't do it, but we'll go over here in a minute. But anyways, overall the aesthetics is uh, very very nice, and um, I do like the fact that it's all the one solid color at the top, it's a reddish color, and just kind of wish that it uh, they would have just painted it all the way down there but you know it's typical Mattel um, <clears throat> I do like the fact that uh, this right here um, or should I say these big large horn horns right here this and this and this horn right there is uh, a separate piece of plastic um, like I was mentioning uh, a few minutes a few seconds ago um, I do wish they would have had the added uh, plastic um, all along here, like they did with the Ankylosaur and the Mimi, which we'll uh, get to in here in a second. Um, but they probably wasn't able to do it because of the uh, action feature, which is understandable. But if it wasn't for this action feature, they probably probably would have done it that way. <clears throat> but um, but yeah, and then you know the horns are here. These are these are all painted white and stuff. So. But overall, it's just one solid color on the top. It's red. And then all the way down till down to the tail right here. And then down here is just all gray. From the bottom right here. 
and then all the way down here as well. So it's basically two t color tones, red or red uh, velvet if you want to <clears throat> you want to be technical with it, I guess. And then you got to paint it uh, right here and everything. And then right here. So I like the way that they was able to paint the uh, the legs right here to make it uh, blend in with the armor to make it armor like so that's pretty cool right there so you get all these uh, uh, muscle tones and creases right there in the legs and the, in the uh, elbow or knees should I say the knee knees here and then the elbow joints right there not joints but you know the elbow you know what I'm talking about uh. <laughs> And then uh, got it all nice detail right there at the foot, uh, unpainted uh, toenails as usual. And then um, here's the uh, fax app if y'all are interested in it. So here on the face, I think it's, uh, let's see if we can get this, there we go. Uh, looks good right there in the eye, you know, right there, and then over here, the eye. This eye looks a little bit better than the other side, but at least it's not all wonky. And then here at the beak, I like the fact that they was able to uh, color the beak in, you know, the mouth. So very cool on that end. So overall, all this right here is all painted the the neck area and uh, the top of the head that's all painted in including the horns but this is all one solid plastic right there piece and then this is separate plastic so I do wish they would uh, do this with all the tri uh, the ceratopsians I wish that they would do it with all of them instead of trying to paint the horns it just makes it a little bit better and easier you know in my opinion <clears throat> and so um as far as the articulation goes um you get the uh legs moving in and out you know to get the inner thigh cut right there movement and then it goes forward and backwards same thing on this side right here the inner thigh uh, articulation and then here you got the uh, legs that move forward and backwards, and then you got the hinge right there at the shoulder. So they go in and out, <clears throat> and then the head and the neck. The neck rotates. You know, you can do it all or uh, almost 360. You probably could go 360, but you didn't want to uh, stress it. You know, and break it. And then here. The, on the ball and hinge so you can do the head 360 right there sorry about that <clears throat> and so as far as the action feature goes uh, you get the tail right here and then you just wiggle it and so You would have to like pretty much kind of hold it in order to to get it. <clears throat> All right, so honestly, um, the action feature is kind of weak. You know, <laughs> nice concept, but it's not really doesn't really do anything. So, if you was to get this mercenary, and then if you wanted to try to attack it, then. He would just have to basically just do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice concept, but it doesn't execute very really well, you know. At least they tried though. So while we have this mercenary out, we are going I'm going to show you the uh size comparisons. So this is actually a little mm, let's see. Let's see, I think that should be about right. Maybe it's a little bigger. So anyways, as far as the uh, uh, accurate size and scale with each other, 
it's a tad bit small as you can see right here that um the tail in the the back area you know it goes all the way up to his chest right there so it's about right there as far as height and the uh, horn goes all the way up to his shoulder so <sighs> technically it's a, a little bit on the small side but that's okay you know <clears throat> So let's go ahead and bring out the Mimi. Like I said, um, the Sora Pelta here is a little bit on the small side when it comes to accuracy for these uh, figures. Um, like I was saying, uh, I do wish that uh, Mattel was able to add the, the rubber uh, spikes down to here. It would be cool, you know. And uh, it would have made it stand out more. But I think just because due to the action feature, they probably wasn't able to do it. You know, they probably could have been able to do this. These little spikes right here uh, on this. But it would have looked weird because they probably wouldn't have been able to do it on here. But it's just the engineering of this figure that probably prevented it from doing it. <clears throat> So, but yeah, this is the uh, Sora Pelta with the uh, uh, Minmi. And we are going to bring out a bigger one. Let's see if we can. So here it is with the Fallen Kingdom Anglosaurus. And then we're going to bring out an oldie but a goodie. We're going to bring out the definitely dinosaurs um, and Kylosaurus. So you can definitely see the size difference when it became with the play school. Definitely dinosaurs Anki compared to this. And uh, so the red looks good with it, you know. And once again, there it is—a a size comparison with the uh, with the human figure. So, like I said, it's a little bit more downside on a smaller scale. So, if you really want to be an accurate, it should be right here. Be more of a like a sound strike figure. But it looks good though. I like it either way. So, just happy to have it in the collection. That being said, let's go ahead and do a, a, a collection update. So here is our um, attack packs that we got. Um, let me add this one right here. From wave one and wave two, I think. If you want to. Yeah, wave one and wave two. We got the Colovasaurus, one of the Lesties, the repaint of the Draco Rex, and then we have the repaints of the Minmi and the Ramphoricus. Then we have the Soundstrike Triceratops, the uh, uh, Pryolophosaurus, the Edmontosaurus, and I do have the Pteranodon. I just haven't opened it yet. Then we have the uh, Massive Biters, um, Sarcosuchus, and Tarbosaurus. Then finally we got the uh, Control and Conquer, or Conquer and Control <laughs> uh, Carnotaurus. And I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as you did filming it. Uh, let me know now. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you think of this uh, Sora Pelta. Do you have it in your collection? Are you looking for it? Do you want to add it to your collection? Let me know in the comments down below. And um, always the wisdom: buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you always end up getting rid of it. And I'm gonna catch y'all later.